Welcome back, this is Arcade Night, and today we enact part two of our Southern War Plan, but first we need to rebuild the King's Army, hand out some feasts, and finally make Robin Redwater a true lord indeed. So sit back on your comfy thrones, grab a golden chalice of your favorite tasty beverage, as we get ready to play A Clash of Kings, A Throne for Dragons. There are so many new lords joining House Bright Flame on every single day, but John Lofsden, yeah, yes, sir, let's see. Um, sure, I'll accept you, sir. Okay, um, I see you are related to the Red Wine, so I would be honored to accept your pledge as well, sir. And we have a pretty high relationship. I'm kind of worried about our of relationship. You only have a, a zero relationship with us, so that may not be too well, too good. Um, you, sir, I believe some members of your family are already part of House Bright Flame. All right, I'll accept you too, sir. Oh my goodness. Mace Tyrell's son himself? Wow. <laughs> wow. Things are not looking good. I believe both of his sons have left him. Uh, but what, Randall Tarley's all that's left? Uh, let's take a look if we can see the reach. Uh, yep, Randall Tarley, or Harlaw, who used to be part of, um, I believe, the Iron Islands. A Peak, and Kozolo, I see. They have a lot of territory, though. We're going to have to talk about that soon. Um, sure, I I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Since you were bending the knee, and you're the first Tyrell to bend the knee, if, uh, if I conquer the Reach, I'll give it to you, sir. How does that sound? Perfect! So, it looks like maybe the Tyrells will still be the uh, Lord Paramounts of the Reach. Very good indeed. Also, Arwen Oakheart, I see. Hmm. I'll give you a chance. I'll give you a chance. And I think the rest of them are just various ladies. But we do have a Tarly. Uh, that's interesting. Why are you here? Oh, you're married to Garland Tyrell. That's why you're here. Interesting. I wonder now that uh, your brother's joined, if your father will join. That would be nice. That would be nice. All right, we've got one last person to hand out Lordship to. Let's head out of here and let's talk to Lord Robin Redwater. Good, sir. I have been waiting to do this for some time, but I'd like to ask you something. Would you be interested in holding a fief? Now, I, I'll, I'll tell you, um, Robin Redwater is one of the few subscribers that I've given Lordship to because he basically has created and runs akrealm.engine.com. So if you haven't checked out the official community for Arcade Night, uh, that's totally administered by Robin Redwater with the help of some subscriber knights and some small council members, you need to check it out. But for the great honor and all the work you've been doing, Robin, I will hand you out two feats. Now, the first one he requested was Raven Tree Hall, so I'm going to give that to you right now. Welcome to the Redwater Lands. Not only does Lord Robin have a fair market, but he also has Raven Tree Hall as well. And you can see the Redwater banner flying high above castle and town. And if we click on this, uh, there he is, Lord Robin Redwater himself. Glorious, sir. Well deserved. Only the second subscriber lord ever on this channel. And to become a subscriber lord, guys, you've got to do something extra. Uh, what Lord Robin Redwater has done is, of course, create it and he runs akrealm.engine.com. So thank you so much, sir, for all the good work you do on that site. Well, we're going to head out of King's Landing. We're going to sell over to Essos and we're going to start recruiting some more cell swords so we can go to war with the Reach. So I'll see you in a second. Before we start recruiting some men for the next war, we need to hand out a bunch of fiefs and we need to make sure that we strengthen these lands that are going to be right in the front lines of the war against the Reach and eventually Dorne. Now, um, I will tell you that uh, Baylor Hightower has joined us and, you know, I think I'm going to give him Old Town. I think I'm going to give him back Old Town eventually. Um, but we don't have Old Town yet, so I was thinking we'll give him Honeywine for now just to keep him happy and then once we grab old town we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll give it back to him um high hermitage is uh i think yep his brother um garth hightower has it and i also gave him sandmere just to keep him happy as well uh there are 
some changes. I, I will tell you, the Tattered Prince, and if you remember from Season 1, the Tattered Prince did help me out quite a bit, but I could never build a solid relationship with him, so I had to indict him for treason. I took Craig Hall away, and I gave it to um, Lord Mathis Rowan. So now he has Craig Hall. But there's another... Uh, Another gentleman from Essos that I think we're going to have to indict for treason as well. And uh, he's the gentleman who has Ashmark. Yeah, he has Ashmark and the Golden Tooth. Ah, uh, our relationship is really low. Negative 45. And there's just, it keeps going down. There's nothing I can really do. So I'm going to go ahead and indict him for treason probably right now. The good news is that's going to open up two more fiefs right in the middle of a highly protected area. So I don't have to worry about anybody sieging these lands. Um, they'll have nice garrisons and, and they're well protected and we can hand those out later. So, so those are open. Um, also, Sea Guard is open. The Crossing is open. But I have plans for the Sea Guard and the Crossing uh, that I'm going to hand out later. So not yet. Black Tide Castle's also not handed out, but it's so far deep in our territories, protected by all these other lords. I don't really have to worry about that either. Also, Salt Pans is unclaimed. Perhaps we'll hand that out. But but I think the most important uh, territories to worry about is Golden Grove, um, Black Haven, uh, Night Song, but basically all these new lands that we conquer from the Stormlands, because it's going to be in the front lines as well as Golden Grove. So I think that's what we're going to hand out as well as Honey Wine. So I, I got a bunch of new lords that have just joined. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that. And, and also, who's got Stone Him? Yeah, Lord Lorch. I was thinking, hmm. I don't know. I almost want to indict him for treason as well, because it's we're having a difficult time keeping a high relationship with him. I thought I was going to give him Black Haven, but I'll see how I feel. So we're going to head into King's Landing and um, do a little bit of work right now. The first thing I want to do is give uh, Baylor a uh, honey wine. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's grant a thief. Where's honey wine? There it is. Honey wine and um, Baylor. Where are you? Oh, it's weird saying that name. My fallen brother. Okay, great. Now he has honey wine. Oh my god, Lord Large. I think I need to get rid of him too. And look, Lomas Estermont. Problems, problems. I'm gonna have to go talk to him. I have to send some some gifts to them to make them a little bit happy. Let's go ahead and, and die to Lord for treason while we're here too. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to start handing out some thieves, moving some things around, and then uh, we're, get, we're going to head all the way to Essos. We're going to, we're going to try to recruit some more men, also recruit some more men here. Where, where are you, sir? There you are. You're hiding from me. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. All right. A few people don't like that, especially Lord Large. We may have to get rid of him, too. All right, so I'm going to start handing out some more feats, guys. And uh, once I'm ready, I'm going to cut right back. See you in a second. So I think we're done. A Night Song is now handed out. Black Haven, all these new lands are now handed out. Um, I also, and, and you guys saw, hand out, handed out Honey Wine to uh, Baylor Hightower. Also, I found the perfect lord to get Golden Grove. I gave it to uh, Lord Ashford. Yep, Cloven Ashford. Now I'll tell you what, if I grab Ashford, I'll take it for myself. And he, if he wants to exchange Ashford for Golden Grove, I'll give him Ashford back. That, that's totally within the realm of possibility, but we're going to have to see. I also just wanted to take a, another look up here at the map. The Westerlands are totally conquered. Remember, Ashmark and Golden Tooth are now free, so we can hand those out later. Um, if we look at the Crown Lands, the Crown Lands look pretty good. Stormlands, we can't forget Griffin's Roost and Rainhouse are still under the command of the Reach. Those two lords uh, left me and, and took their their lands with them to the reach so we're going to get those back don't you worry don't you worry now we're looking at dorn dorn is growing they are with uh the stormlands out of the picture um the reach cannot hold back dorn any longer so we're going to talk about this a little bit later in the episode it looks like hellhold is just going back and forth between the reach and dorn back and forth if we go and we look at the veil the veil is completely free and open um, we're going to have to take care of the Vale a little bit later this season. Uh, and also, if we look at the, the Trident and the Riverlands, we can't forget that we still have, um, what is it, Raven Tree Hall. 
map is still under Lord Robin Redwater's command, as well as Fair Market. Uh, like I said, I've got plans for the crossing, and Sea Guard will handle that later. And the north is, is pretty quiet. There's not much going on in the north. Uh, they have yet to feel the wrath of uh, House Bright Flame. Now, there's one last thing I wanted to do before I headed over to Essos, and that's go to Maiden Pool. And use Maiden Pool as um, another way to help out the king in controlling his, his kingdom. What we've done is we've made Duskendale uh, basically the town that produces all the bread for the army. So anytime we go on campaign, we stop over at Duskendale, load up our inventory with all the bread from the mill there. But you know what I've been noticing? It's been difficult for me to get the ale and the wine I need to send gifts out to lords. Now, I did that. I sent out a bunch of gifts to the various lords of the kingdom to increase our relationship. Um, but I just don't have enough of that stuff to do it efficiently. So, Maiden Pool is completely open. We haven't bought anything there. So, I thought it would be perfect since our kingdom is getting so big and we have so many lords. And that the best thing to do would be to open up a brewery here. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. I'd like to buy a productive enterprise. I was thinking about doing wine or ale. But let's just go ahead and do ale. Let's go ahead and do it. I think that's perfect. Um, so, hopefully that will be done fairly soon. Also, let's go ahead and improve our relationship with this town. Sometimes if we get to do that while we're out and about, we need to go ahead and talk. Um, yes, thank you very much. It's been a while since we've been over to Essos, especially Bravos. Huh, negative five relationship. I, I thought I had a better relationship with Bravos. I don't think they'll let me recruit cell swords now. Really? How did that happen? All right, this is not gonna work then if I have to. My goodness. My goodness indeed. Hmm, you sir. Unsullied. I'd hate to use unsullied. I tell you what. I really would hate to use them. I'd just like to get some cell swords. It's, it's against all that uh, King Darren stands for. I, I don't think so. All right, Pentos. Come on, come on. Tell me we've got a decent relation. Oh, my goodness. No. Well, I think recruiting cell swords is going to be out of the question. So I've made my way back to Maiden Pool. Um, and I was just looking at the garrison. And I think what we could do is probably grab hmm, all the elite longbowmen from here. We have some mounted sergeants that we can grab from there that we can go ahead and upgrade. I'm going. I'm looking at all the garrisons that we have because there's definitely opportunity for some upgrading. Like for instance, we can upgrade these gentlemen here. Uh, who else? So sort of pikemen, longbowmen. Look at all of these guys. We can definitely rebuild um, our dragon's teeth already. Look at this. All the upgrading. I took most of these men all the way with me to Esso, so we're going to get a bunch of upgrading while we're here. Yep, there's some more elite longbowmen already. Already, that's perfect. Upgrade those men to men-at-arms, um, possibly longbowmen as well. Okay. Also, uh, my half-maester, the uh, half-maester um, who heals my men, he is ready for an upgrade too, so I think we'll do that. Ooh, some levy. Can I grab those levy? Men at arms. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab the levy. We could do pretty much anything we want with those men. Very good. Yeah. Oh, and the, the men at arms are the next level. I'll tell you what. I'm going to drop off the levy. I'm going to grab the men at arms. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade those men. I could probably get some more long bowmen out of them. All right. All right. So uh, let's head to Duskendale 2 and see if we can do the same thing. Grab some food in Duskendale as well. Uh, let's go to my mill. The brewery is not quite ready. So when it's ready, we'll visit there and we'll pick up a bunch of ale. Let's check over the inventories. Beautiful. Look at all this bread. I'll take all that bread. I'll grab the bread from the bottom. All right, good. That's all for now. And let's take a look at our garrison because we've got so many men spread out amongst the kingdom. Yeah, all these men at arms that we can, we can definitely upgrade. 207 veteran men at arms. Wow. That we can upgrade into sergeants. There's some more elite longbowmen. I'm going to take those elite longbowmen. I'm already, I'm already building it back up. All right, so... Yeah, guys, we're in pretty good shape, actually. A lot better shape than I thought we were. All right, so let's grab the rest of those knights. Let's go ahead and upgrade um, 
this companion while while we have the opportunity. And I think what I've been doing, his um his medic skills are pretty high. We've got sevens all around. Even if I give him more intelligence, it's gonna take a while before we can actually do that. We gotta get up to what intelligence uh, 28 or something, I think, to, to upgrade that anymore. So I was thinking about just getting his strength a little bit higher so I can give him better armor. He needs to get about strength 13 until he can really have some nice armor. And then uh, power draw. He's mm, using crossbows mainly. Um, I could give him... Let's see. Trainer never hurts, right? And then how about some more crossbow skill? Some more one-handed weapons. Okay, pretty good. All right, let's do one last thing. I'm going to go to King's Landing. And I'm going to drop off a few of these um, men that are pretty much upgraded all the way. And then we're going to try to recruit another patrol. I did one before I handed out all those fiefs. Um, but there's... Uh, hopefully we can get another one and get some better men. Yeah, let's get some more longbowmen. I want to make sure that we got a, a huge group of longbowmen going in uh, to these um, the war against the Reach. We're going to need them. So let's drop off those 24 elite longbowmen. Uh, we don't need them. I want to drop off all 55 of those heavy knights. All right, so that gives us plenty of room. All these men need to be upgraded. Uh, let's see. Veter I have a couple of veteran cell swords. Let's get rid of those as well. Okay. So then, let's see, once we go to the castle, if we can recruit another patrol. If there's any other lords hanging out here. No. No, a bunch of fossil ways. Oh, I believe here's another lord who wants to join. Oh, and there's that Tarly girl again. Okay, sir. Um, let's see. Oh, you're, you're not the person. I don't need to talk to you. I need to talk to my... My castellan. There we go. Let's see if we can do another patrol. Ah, uh, yes. Let's enlist a patrol. We're gonna get the... Hmm. We've got time. We've got time to do some upgrading. But... <sighs> tough decisions. Um, yeah. Let's just get the best troops around. We'll send them to King's Landing. Yes. Very good. So, once I leave King's Landing, there should be a group of uh, some pretty good men. There they are. 35. I think you get closer to 100 when you get a big one. So, what do we have? Uh, let's take a look. So, five elite long bowmen, which we can't take because they're at the very top, but we can take everything else. Uh, let's take those heavy knights. I'll upgrade all of you men. Very good. Very good. And then I'm going to just tell those long bowmen um, to reinforce King's Landing. Very good. And you can join your brothers in the Dragon's Teeth in King's Landing. And um, I think we're in pretty good shape, guys. We've got pretty decent sized armies. Uh, we've got 461 men here in the garrison of King's Landing. So we could pull a good 200 from there before we really have to worry. Uh, Duskendale had quite a few as well. 356 men. And uh, Maiden Pool was looking pretty good as well. So I can always just pull from these three garrisons. I can't forget about Dragonstone too. I'm sure there's tons of men in Dragonstone. So I can pull from these four different towns um, to start the war against the Reach. But while we're here, let's go down the, to the Reach and talk about the plan of action. Many episodes ago, I asked my small council to pick the plan of action. And uh, when they picked the southern plan, they said definitely go after the Stormlands first. And if the Reach happen to attack us, then that's fine. We'll just attack the Reach at the same time. But if we can take this war in the south in stages, all the better. So I think it's now time to attack the Reach. Now, I have considered going after Dorne because they're getting so much stronger. I tell you what, I think it's a, it's a good idea to take a look at Dorne while we're discussing the Reach. Yeah, they've got quite a few vassals. Look at them. Robin Flint. He's been skipping around. I think he used to be part of House Bright Flame. Then he moved to the Reach. And now he is part of Dorne. I see. I, I think they have... Um, hmm. These look like a lot of Dornish lords that have... Oh, Victorian Greyjoy joined Dorne. That is hilarious. So they're pretty strong. So that, that was the thought. The thought was to maybe go after Dorne first, but it's so fragmented. It, it really is, and I don't think they're going to enter in the war once we take on the Reach, but what they will do is probably take over any lands that are close to theirs, like Starfell and Kingsgrave. We can probably kiss those goodbye. Maybe even Horn Hill. 
but we're gonna go after the Reach first. So the thought was, do we attack at the heart of it? Bitterbridge, Cider Hall, Ashford, or do we go for Old Town, Old Town right away? Or maybe, maybe High Garden. I tell you what, who has Old Town now? Seems like belongs to Laswell Peak. I see. And notice, oh, damn you, Tattered Prince. He went to the Reach. So they've gotten a little bit stronger. Oh, and he went to the Reach too. Both of those lords that I indicted for treason left and went to the Reach. It was, it, you know, I had to do it because they were going to leave to go for the Reach anyway and they were going to take their lands with them. Hmm. Has he been given anything? He has Ashford. <laughs> you have to be kidding me. Um, what, what did, what did they give you? They gave you nothing. Okay. And uh, Tarly still has Kingsgrave, Bitterbridge, Horn Hill. Okay, he's got a few. What about Mace Tyrell? He's got High Garden and Lone Table. Hmm. Hmm. This this changes things. I have to think about this. It's either getting revenge and going right for Ashford, but this is such a... Oh, there's so many lords around here. I, I think the best course of action, because it's kind of surrounded by... Um, friendly territory. I think we should head to Old Town first. I think that's what we're going to do. Guys, we're, we're going to siege Old Town today. We're definitely going to siege Old Town today. Take one of their towns, and then we're going to march this way. Taking Horn Hill, High Garden... And then all oh, that's going to be left or Ashford. Yep, and you know, I like that better. Let my former lord sweat it out. Because Griffin's Roost, Rain House, Ashford, all of the men who hold those castles and towns were former House Bright Flame Lords. So I'm going to get my army ready, guys. Get the best men possible. And then once I'm ready, we're going to march on to Old Town. I'm going to see you in a second. All right, so just returning to Maiden Pool, it looks like the brewery is ready. There's one last thing I need to do. I need to tell my brew master to hold all the inventory for the king. This is the king's brewery, the king's ale. Uh, we're not going to sell this to peasants, so I'd like you to keep all the goods in the warehouse until I arrive. Uh, do you have anything? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. All right, so... I'm going to go build my army. Like I said, I'm going to call my banners, guys. And then we're going to march on to Old Town. 